Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Walkerita and this is my new channel. I have decided to do a quick recap of the last week. So as you all know, I have come out and become a YouTuber. Whether it will be a successful endeavor or not, I still don't know. That's yet to be determined, but I am confident Thank you if you have subscribed. Said last week I decided to become a YouTuber and it was a very interesting week. We'll start with last weekend. My cousin my Tanya and her husband Lad came out and they were here in Chicago for uh, a couple days. They came and saw Some me fun. and dog humped the teddy bear. Everyone got a laugh out of it and uh, it was a great time. Sorry, now that I know how to, I'll take the sound out and I'll put it on funny. Fortunately, when I was with them, that is when the check engine light on my car came on. And I really wasn't sure what was going on. I was losing some power, and we had to sort of cut some of our uh, tours of Chicago. So short. after Tanya and Lad left on the week from uh, Sunday or Saturday night, I had attempted Monday to go and get my car fixed, and I went to a couple different places, and unfortunately, nobody could squeeze me in. I was really frustrated by the whole situation, and that I just couldn't get in. I should have just made an appointment, but I didn't, and that's my fault. Anyways, yeah. so during my travels and going about and about trying to find a repair shop to fix my car, some crazy woman in a Honda rammed me right in the front. So I'm gonna car. show you a clip of that video real quick. Unfortunately, I didn't get it on cam. My dash cam wasn't on at the time, but I did do a quick video blog just after the incident trying to uh, give myself notes so I could remember exactly what had happened, and I'll show you some pictures of that. So, there's this. Uh, so I'm at the corner of Western and Diversity. It is 2.46, about 10 minutes ago. Uh, a lady in a silver Honda Civic uh, license silver plate. Silver Honda Civic hit me in the front right corner, front left hand corner of the car. Um, this is the intersection of where I was at, the green light. As you can see, there are numerous cameras on the intersection and, uh, and we pulled over there into the check cash stop and I explained to her that it was her fault. She told me she didn't speak English. I had minimal damage to my car. She had a pretty big dent in her front end. I offered to exchange information, but I explained to her I'm that it fine. was her fault. She's fine. So we just left it at that and uh, decided to take care of our own issues. Her car was significantly damaged. Mine was not. I do have a crack in the front left bumper, which I do have a photo of, but that's that. So that day ended. I had gotten an accident. The lady, I don't think she had insurance, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, and I felt bad for her. So I basically said, you know what? Fault. You ran a red light. You smashed me. It is what it is. And uh, on my travels I to fix my car, the damn thing broke down. I had like no power. It broke down in the streets. People were beeping their horns. It was extremely frustrating. So I was able to push it off to the side and call AAA and they towed my car to the repair shop and it cost me a fortune. I had, unfortunately, four misfiring cylinders and I had lost pretty much all power to my car. It wouldn't even go. And literally at the moment that the damn thing stalled, I guess the gas had somehow flooded into the oil and there was, just a big mess everywhere and it was just a nightmare but clip of that all right so this was not my intended i am stuck in my car in chicago outside of a playground and my car died yep my car died wonderful wonderful stuff so i had a check engine light come on a few days ago and and uh I went to get it repaired at a couple different mechanics. Nobody could get me in, so I took it back home and I went and made an appointment. And I was just on my way to that appointment to drop my car off. And somehow I've managed to lose all power to my engine and I am now stuck here waiting for AAA. It's all, all right, here we are. I'm now waiting for the bus, I'm trying to get myself back home since my car has been uh, taken away. I got my car back, 
market is fixed. I have more power than ever before. I'm extremely excited, and we're ready to hit so the road again. So that pretty much concluded my week. It was uh, working, fixing my car, doing my and first video vlog. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday was here. I was pretty much committed to doing this. My mother isn't exactly so thrilled. Rolled around, and we in the Midwest got a fierce fierce storm. It was crazy. So I have some footage of what it's like on the 27th floor of a high-rise building in the middle of a freaking storm. The wind's blowing about 100 plus miles an hour. It was insanity. It was insanity. My so the storm is now upon us and the downside to living in a high-rise, in case anyone wants to know, and being so high up. Set. Oh my god, get back inside, I can't deal with it. Holy shit, this is incredible. It is so... It is nailing. Look at this, it's like a fucking moon in the middle of November. In here, Midas. Midas likes the storms. Midas, he really wants to go out there, but I don't know, with wind at like 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, it's probably not the best idea. Oh, someone's garbage. Oh, I wanted to keep on going with the In fact, when we went outside later that night during like this calm of the storm, he decided to go walk in the lake. And anyone who knows is in the Midwest right now, it's freaking cold. Like, you don't go It was Saturday, it was depressing, it was awful outside, and I decided to take on my I've first achieved my goal. first goal. I established all of my social media accounts. I've started adding friends, you've started adding me back, and I am super grateful to all of you who have done that. It's uh, incredible to know that people are watching. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to somehow bring you some sort of entertainment I decided in your life. that it was a great time to start tackling my second goal, which was coming out on YouTube and this is something I'm not doing because I want people to well it, it is because I want people to know but it's something I'm doing for myself uh, more than I'm doing for other people I decided to make coming out on YouTube a goal because I thought it was important for me to to help myself and and to help myself keep on the right path and to make sure I continue to grow and I don't falter backwards and try to pretend to be I'm somebody. See, in the documentary because that I created, it ended up being about an hour plus or minus long. So what I've decided to do is break it into four or five chunks, sections, to help you uh, identify with a specific period of my life. So we start with uh, grade school and I discuss, you know, elementary school, middle school, and high school episode. And then I'll discuss um, accepting myself and sort of the challenges and the excitement that comes from coming out to yourself and really starting to be who you say you are or who you who you are third section will deal with my coming out to my family and the struggles that i experienced with that process and then most likely the fourth section uh, will deal with my continued struggle and I would be lying if I told you that there wasn't a struggle because unfortunately I, I do struggle still with some of these issues and, and that, that's part of the reason why I really wanted and I thought it was important to do these YouTube videos because once it gets out there, it's out there and it's done. So it's, it's a commitment, it's a firm commitment Even though the past seems a little bit scary, and the idea that there are so many people out there who are watching this and judging me I'm trying to get past all I'm, that and I'm trying to become a better person and and grow inside. A little bit of spirit science for you and I, I know a lot of you who watch these vlogs are reality kind of if you like reality shows but another great uh, YouTube video that I stumbled across is called Spirit Science and it's a wonderful animated extremely easy to understand series about a whole bunch of different spiritual things in 
in life. So I'll put a link to them below. It's called Spirit Science. It's a, it's a great little series. I encourage you to watch. That. I decided to film the entire documentary and then I started posting parts of it. Uh, I, and then I realized I hadn't edited it properly. So I pulled it all back down and I'm in the process right now of re-editing the whole thing. It's taking me a little bit of time to, to make sure it gets done properly. I want to uh, make sure it's not too boring. One thing I realized when I first started doing these vlogs is you can be really boring sometimes and I don't really want to be that person. So I'm, I'm hoping to keep you guys engaged. Just feel free to let me know in the comments below or direct message me and let me know, you know if I could do something better to become more entertaining for the you. The first week, Sunday through Sunday, was a fantastic week. I had so much done. A lot of bad things happened, but a lot of good things happened too. Um, in fact, one of those good things was me reconnecting with my friend uh, Jillian, who is in Brazil, who is watching this video right now. Hi Jillian, my fellow YouTuber. So we sort of came out to each other the other day, and uh, actually it was today, today, Monday. We came out to each other today that we are YouTubers and we love watching YouTube. What is she saying? I really like your coming out video. I wish it were longer. It needs a part two. Very interesting. I think you'll do well at this. You're my first crush in kindergarten. Oh my God! Oh my. Jillian had a crush on me? And then you moved away. And I thought my five-year-old world was over. I was gonna post that on the comments, but I figured I didn't need the world to read that. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Oh my God, you're so not watching. I guess that's uh, it for today. So hopefully I will see you subscribe like this video and uh, share it with your friends. Until next time.